Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I want to talk about an issue some of you might be facing with Jurassic World Evolution 2 not launching or just refusing to start. It can be super frustrating when you're all set to dive into the game and suddenly nothing happens. I've been digging into a few solutions that might help you out, so let's just talk through them casually. One of the first things you might want to try is rolling back or changing your graphics driver. Even though it seems logical that the game would work best with the latest drivers, there are instances where a slightly older version can actually be more stable. For example, some folks have found success by reverting to a driver version around 391.35 for NVIDIA cards. It sounds a bit counterintuitive, but if you're having trouble launching the game, giving an older driver a shot might just do the trick. Another useful tip is to verify your game files using Steam's built-in option. Corrupted or missing files can sometimes be the culprit behind launch issues, and by running the Verify Integrity of Game Files tool, you can ensure that everything is in order. It's a simple step, but it saved a lot of people from headaches by making sure all necessary files are present and accounted for. It might also be worth taking a look at any overlays or background software that could be interfering with the game's launch process. Programs like Steam or Discord overlays can sometimes block the game from running properly, so try disabling them to see if that clears up the issue. And while you're at it, check out any other software that might be monitoring or interfering with your system, such as antivirus programs, Windows Defender, or other monitoring tools. Sometimes, the solution is as simple as turning off a feature that's causing a conflict. If you have a GeForce card, you might want to adjust your graphic scaling settings. A user mentioned that opening the NVIDIA control panel and going to the display settings, then adjusting the desktop size and position by setting the scaling mode to no scaling, perform scaling on display, helped resolve their problem. It might seem like a small tweak, but sometimes these little settings can make a big difference in how the game starts up and runs. Lastly, don't overlook the possibility of an issue with Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable. There have been reports that sometimes the MSV C++ 2015 package doesn't install properly, and that can prevent the game from launching. It might be a good idea to run the installer from the game's common redist folder again, or even download a fresh copy from Microsoft's website, and then reboot your computer. This step ensures that all the necessary runtime libraries are installed correctly, which is crucial for a smooth gaming experience. I hope these tips help you get back into Jurassic World Evolution 2 without any more delays. Let me know in the comments if any of these solutions worked for you, or if you found another fix that did the trick. Thanks for watching.